Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking the Code. So this is the OTP generation code that was covered in the previous shot. If you all have not seen that, I would really advise you all to do so as this shot is addressing a question that was asked in the comments by Suhail Pathan 5455. Please pardon me if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. Uh, first of all, thanks a lot for your comment and the feedback. It is very much appreciated. Okay, so as you can see, the question is a very valid one. What if we want to get an OTP that is in the range of 0, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0999 along with our existing range? Okay, so basically, what is the comment saying that we want to consider the preceding zeros as well? So if there is a zero before the number, we consider that as a valid number. Now, the logic that is right in front of our screen considers four digit numbers. So four digit numbers start from thousand uh, and and they go all up to uh, 9999 and hence I considered this logic but the question asked is a very valid one and can be asked by an interview as well okay so let us see how we would do that okay so first of all let me just clear all of this now we want to generate uh, a string that is in the range of 0000 to 9999 okay so let's see how we would do that so the very first thing that we would need is mat.random of course right because we want to generate random numbers now uh, if you remember previously we multiplied with 9000 right so in this case, we will multiply with 10,000, okay? Because we want that range, okay? Okay, now again, if you log this, okay, let me add that method afterwards. So as you all can see, we are getting it in that range. So we just don't need the decimal part. So the way we get rid of the decimal part is using mat.flow, okay? Now, this will give us four digit numbers, okay? Yeah, okay, so now, as you can see, there is an edge case, right? We need to take into account the preceding zero as well, right? So how do we do that? The way we do that is using something called as patch start. Okay, there is this method called as patch start. The first argument is you specify how many uh, you know characters you want. So in this case, since it is a four-digit OTP, so we'll say four. So what character do we want to add in case that character is missing is zero. Sorry for that. Okay, uh, but this won't work. Okay, because patch start it works with strings only. Okay, it works with strings. Okay, so we need to surround this entire thing with string. So this will convert it to a string, and this should work. Yeah, and as you can see, the next edge case is only the same thing, okay, 0149. So we have taken into account uh, Sohail's suggestion. Okay, now keep in mind, this is a string. It is not a number, okay? Don't try to convert it to a number back because if you try to convert it to a number back, what will happen is the preceding zero will be removed. So in such cases, your OTP will always be a string. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more and drop a like if you found this video helpful.